Welcome back to Seller Motor TV. I know it's been a minute. I moved from Texas to Florida. So you guys can see Achilles is here in Florida now, our 2019 street bob that we've been working on. I have a new project already with this garage. Just trying to get things situated and working on a bunch of things in the house. So yeah, this garage is gonna be one of the new projects for the channel as well. This is literally going to be only my second ride, my second time that I get on the bike in Florida since I've been here. I've been here for just over a month now. So I'm gonna make a quick store run and I wanted to show you guys this store. It's called Publix. I'm originally from Florida, so I know all about Publix. But if you guys are cruising by on your bikes and you're looking for a good place to find some good food, other than a convenience store or a gas station or anything like that or maybe some good food to take to your hotel room at the end of a long ride coming through the state or whatnot this is going to be one of your perfect perfect spots to go to so let's get the bike outside and get on the road all right so let's go ahead and put our stuff on the bike so we don't lose it from our pockets and we'll give you guys a cold start real quick Yo, I'm super stoked to be back in Florida. My brother lives here and I can't wait to go on rides with my brother and some of my friends here from back in the days. Let's take you to the store real quick and show you around. As you can see, their chicken is almost sold out. This happens very, very often in Publix because the chicken is perfect. In these other areas, you'll find a bunch of cold pasta salads and hummus and dips and all kinds of uh, side dishes, uh, so to speak. Now, if you're from Florida or you have ever been through Florida and ended up at a Publix before to pick up some food, here's the thing about Publix. Publix is always super fresh. The food is always good. Like I said, I am from Florida, at least since 1995, and I have yet till this day to have anything bad or buy anything bad or poor quality from a Publix. Publix are always a super super good choice to go to when you're on the run and you gotta walk into a store real quick and grab something from the road or for a hotel room like i said before if you're traveling through especially on a bike throw a bunch of this stuff from the saddlebags or whatnot in your backpack and you are gonna get some really really good food they always have all these fresh fruits their sushi a publix is always really good really fresh and the prices are not bad at all I'm from Miami, but I am now in Central Florida and I have lived in North Florida as well, in the Panhandle, and you will find Publixes anywhere you go in Florida. We're gonna have fun trying to fit all this stuff in the uh, leather pros right here. We're gonna have to play some Tetris. Could actually open these bags up and extend them with the other zipper but I think we're good I don't think it's needed we'll just squish that bus box in there and so with Tom and we're good boom what that all right so what's new on the channel if you guys are already subscribed to the channel 
you guys have been watching, you know that I've been doing a bunch of changes to this Harley Davidson in Texas and going on some rides and doing videos on the rides. Uh, some of the latest stuff that we've been doing to this bike was the uh, bunking, front and rear, uh, crash protection. This is our second uh, saddleman uh, seat on this bike. This is our second front fairing and hand guards. And we're about on our third windscreen. Uh, one of the latest things we installed is a uh, nine and a half inch uh, and mid bend bars from Trash and Supply. And we have the pipes and the tuner, the air cleaner. Now I had other bikes before this one. I do deeply regret not making more videos on those bikes and posting those videos on the channel. I do have a bunch of shorts in my shorts list from some of those bikes uh, to include our last R6 that we had that we did a bunch of stuff to and our 2022 Hayabusa, our Gen 3 Busa that we did a bunch of stuff to uh, for going uh, fast, removing, uh, deleting brakes uh, and adding some aero and the full pipe from Acropovic and taking about almost 100 pounds off the bike right before I got this uh, bike. I had an R1 and another R6 back in the days and we had another Harley. Point is I wanna continue to post as much as I can on the channel from this bike, any other bikes that come our way and any motorsports related events that we go to. For example, we do have Bike Tober Fest in Daytona coming up here in uh, just a couple months. So we'll definitely be getting some content from there. We are only about an hour away from Daytona, so we'll be able to be in the area a whole lot. But like I said before, I do want to introduce new faces here on the channel. People that I used to ride with, looking forward to riding with again. And I want to ride to a bunch of good food places so that if you guys are riding or driving through, you have a better idea of what really good places to go eat at. If you are new to the channel, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next ride.